York City Sexy Curvy Divas competition and fashion rock show. We taught Love Jones with electro reggae pop artists crucial. And like, you know, certain certain like a romantic thing where you can do for your woman. We don't really yeah. talk too much, but yeah. it's just the thought behind it. You see me I said? Yeah. And that is what the video about and the people right. them seem to love it because it reads fifty two thousand right now. Curry yeah, Coconut Lobster curry. with celebrity chef Patrick Simpson on this week's in the kitchen. Clinton, I did the coconut curry salmon and she loved it. So the coconut curry lobster, and that may I bring with you today. If you could change one thing in the past, what would that be? We find out on Street Buzz New York. You're watching Come Chat With Me, a Caribbean lifestyle magazine. And I'm your host, Ziggy Bless. New York City Sexy Curvy Divas. Oh, Divas, it's time to slay and fashion rocks at the Watson Hotel. Six top designers, six headline artists, and six distinguished judges. Fashion Rocks, an exclusive runway fashion showcase and artist concert. 16 phenomenal women battling it out, bringing you the artist models competition and runway fashion show production ever. <laughs> actually been getting themselves together since September. Today they actually got six categories that they're going to be battling out for $1,500 and an opportunity to be the face of you know, the NYC Sex Security Divas. New York City Sexy Curvy Divas Models Competition helps to enrich the lives of BBWs full-figured curvy women by helping developing these women to embrace their potential of improving their self-esteem and becoming a better entrepreneur. The event was hosted by Mr. Runway, Frederick Ramirez. In the kitchen, yes, and you know, as you bless, and a top chef in a New York City, them for no <laughs> chef Patrick Simpson, without a doubt. Right? A dish we're gonna make today, you know, and the reason why I want to do this dish 
when they talk about the Caribbean island, Caribbean island, we love with curry, and we love with coconut, and we love lobster. Any seafood, you don't know already. Sunday morning time, in you know, the Caribbean, every fisherman beach, everywhere you go, fish come in, the lobster come in, the red snapper come in, all the fishermen in the blood of the Caribbean. They're gonna do the coconut curry lobster. I remember they did already before from Miss Hillary Clinton. I did the coconut curry salmon and she loved it. So the coconut curry lobster, and that may I bring with you today. Because listen, the curry, don't get it twisted. Coconut, the lobster, you're in for a treat. So stick around, you wanna see this. And get your pen and paper together. All the recipes gonna be online. So stick around. In at the kitchen, come chat with me. Follow me. Come. In at the kitchen. We have all the ingredients here already set up. The red pepper, the green pepper, my onion, my garlic, my scallion, all the seasoning and stuff. And right here now, you see me have a nice, beautiful lobster, well cooked and clean. Looking real good, looking real sexy. That's what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna go now with some garlic powder, fresh garlic powder, onion powder, because I want this bad boy to be real flavorful. All right, garlic powder. And then I'm gonna go with some salt, not too much. I'm gonna go with a little bit of obe. A little bit of obe, make him real nice. And some fresh garlic. Fresh garlic looking real good. Then I'm gonna go now. I wanna keep everything close to me. So I'm gonna go now with my curry. All right, beautiful. And I'm gonna marinate this bad boy. I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of oil over it to kind of lubricate it a little bit. And I'm gonna stir this bad boy up a little bit. Leave him, as you can see, I have some nice little chunks of lobster. So when you dive into it, this look real good. So this, I'm gonna leave this to marinate for a couple minutes, and I'm gonna start putting my sauce together. Real simple and real easy. I'm gonna go with my butter. I want that melt. I'm gonna go with my oil. Put it in, that's what I'm talking about. Then I'm gonna go with all my, all my spices. My red pepper, my green pepper. I really want the butter to burn a little bit because I wanna get out the flavor out of it to get it real strong. Because you know how I do already. I like that real flavor popping out. In the meanwhile, while this is getting, absorbing all the flavor out of my season, I'm gonna go with a little bit of garlic powder as well. A little bit of onion powder. And I'm gonna go with some black pepper. And my scotch bonnet pepper that I've already cut up already. Season. I want it to burn a little bit because I want to get out the flavor out of the curry. So I want it to burn a little bit. Pick up some of the leaf off my thyme and drop my thyme in. Make that bad boy look real good, real flavorful. That's what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I'm looking for. You can use any one of the coconut milk brand that you like to use, but that's what I want to see. That's my coconut curry lobster right here. And then I'm gonna draw for my veg, which I already blanch already. I don't want it to cook too much. Nice, beautiful. Before I even do that, I'm gonna let this cook for about probably like 20 seconds. Get out the flavor. I'm gonna now draw for my lobster, which I already have well marinated already. My lobster will go to pre-cook and I'm gonna put my lobster inside. Alright, beautiful. Beautiful, that's what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I'm looking for. You see how rich that flavor look? That's what I'm talking about. That's what I want to see. Then I'm gonna go for my veg now. Gonna go for my veg and I'm gonna toss my veg right over. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Let that cook down a little bit for a couple minutes. I want to sprinkle a little bit of water over him. Now let it cook down. So look how pretty that looks. And I'm going to serve this over some jasmine 
white rice. So let that cook down right there and when we come back, you're gonna see me take you right over the plate in a presentation. And this is gonna look so good. Don't get it twisted. Alright guys, so now you see this, I put this together, the coconut curry lobster. So now we're down to where I'm talking about the presentation. You know, this is what I love to do. So right now, I'm, as I said, I'm serving over some jasmine rice. Real simple, real easy. As a matter of fact, in the Caribbean, we probably get a glass of, um, what they call it, carrot juice or some beetroot juice or some people probably get an ivy can or something. But this is what I'm talking about. Real good, real simple looking real nice and this is what you want to see look at that look at that I want this to look real good and you can see what time it is right now with some of the nice veg the lobster that's what I'm talking about I'm gonna put a nice charred lemon right on the front of it and make that bubble pretty and it finish and that's what I'm talking about that's your coconut curry lobster your coconut curry lobster. Don't get it twisted. In at the kitchen, a so would we. He has written over 200 songs and he labeled his music as Electro Reggae Pop. Electro Reggae Pop is a new musical genre that Crucial takes pride in developing, which consists of a mix of soul, pop, funk, techno, and dancehall. Crucial has starred in the award-winning YouTube series, Sons of Kingston. Crucial is Mr. One Love. Crucial is an artist and an actor. I star in the award-winning web series, Sons of Kingston. I may have Wally Pop, hit songs. Right now, Love Jones hit 52,000 on YouTube. So yeah. I move, I move right now, you see myself. The last time I hear all of eyes and reason, seeing a Wally Pop thing that show me in the making. Yeah. You know what I mean? African movement African and of movement. course the movie and everything all of that Straight. see me? Yeah. so talk a little bit about that and thing you know what I mean from them time that will know you know what I mean what go on well from the last time me and you meet you know see I make my trip to Africa I go to South Africa yeah. um we stay in a Pretoria I'm end up in a Brooklyn so I go I leave from Brooklyn I'm going to Brooklyn in Africa you mm -hmm. see that's, that's crazy <laughs> that's so, so you know, on mm -hmm. my journey I touch a couple of them all them out there and my plant a couple of seeds to yeah. say yo this is the artist and the artists are come and yeah. the artists are gonna be worldwide so I want my seed definitely planted in Africa. See what I said? See. So I grow where I grow. So I don't have a vibe there. Yeah, Just go plant up some seed and I get ready for it. For yeah. forward for the future again yeah. when they see them plant that's some of my thing. I'm one of the people them know about Burkina Faso because yeah. I guess where I go in December. And we have some other artists who we link up with, like Soul T and Demo. You see me, I said, see. come on, big up yourself. Them man, they come from Burkina Faso, and that's the way I touch next, in December. You see me, I said, so I just link and movement. And that is in Africa? In Africa, West see. Africa. West Africa, Africa. Africa. Nigeria. Africa. You see me, I said, most people don't even know about Burkina Faso, them can't even say it. For real, so that's yeah. not like the first me here. It's <laughs> true, it's real. Thing. So, we're glad they go visit it and know certain things we can come bring back the message mm -hmm. there. And the people, them over there, we how we see way because you have artists like Melody Renee and Fear Song, they already have played on the radio over there, so see. they're just a welcome when we reach. The movie vibes now, see, because we know the movie is now award winning. First, what's the name of the movie? Sons of Kingston, because Jamaica will represent straight, you see me, I said. See, yeah. see Sons of Kingston, it's award winning. Tell us yeah. a little about that, man, because well, that, that's special. Sons of Kingston won two awards recently from the um, um, American Web Series Award um, featuring um, um, with a lady named uh, um, Lisa Everett. Lisa Mercer, right. and yeah. she's very big. She's up on um, um, Fox Five. 5 News and at 97. Lisa Mercer, so she's, um, she's a big deal. Lisa Mercer, sure. So that means we winning is a big deal. You understand? Really so thing. Sons of Kingston win for Best Director, Miami Big Up Yourself. Um, that's Jermaine, that's his dir director of um, Sons of Kingston. And um, we win for Best Cinematography. So, Sons of Kingston, you can check it out on getthismovie.com. One of the people can sign up, $20, $22 for the year. And, you know, you get all access. 
because really and truly get this movie.com is like a, a version of Netflix or, or um, Hulu or a thing okay. like that well, that we are building. You see me I said? So yeah. eventually there's gonna be other movies on there. So we just need the love and support from the people then. Brilliant. So, and in the movie, what the role they play? What's the name of the movie? <laughs> I am Zinc in the movie. Zinc? Which is nothing like Mr. One Love. But we start off like Yo, that. Zinc put because... people in. <laughs> you see me I said? Think we'll Yo, so, like so, so when you say Zinc, right? Mm. We want the people them understand where the name and the actual thought process came from with this character called Zinc. Because mm -hmm. you know when you hear Zinc, you know so it's a rough place. Oh, you mean, yeah, man. David, in a Jamaica. You really you get to your zinc, 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 separate, yeah, that Zinc cover yeah, roof. Really really get get <laughs> yeah, so so really get so, so you know, yeah. so Zinc is somebody really, you really don't want to play with. You see me, I say? Really? Zinc is really a stick up kid in the show. See? And we really do them steal and rob from drug dealers. No, and, um, um, you know. Him, 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 him is a youth who have to run away from Jamaica because of whatever mix up him get up in a Jamaica. So yeah. now he's in America, a foreign land, which is Jamaica, Queens. And him kind of still go on with the same um, you know, kind of garbage we him that deal with in a Jamaica. Really? But really and truly, he's trying to change um, his lifestyle, you know, because he want to go straight now. So he want to open a shipping company. You see yeah. what I said? So yeah. that is the whole plot and everything. Right now we're left on season two. Yeah. And we're gonna have a, a screening for the season finale, which is um, season two, episode ten, and that's right. gonna be in May on May twentieth. So we want the people them come out and support with. You can go up and get this movie dot com, um, get this movie dot com, yeah. or you could go to Eventbrite and purchase tickets. It's only twenty dollars. You know what I mean? We need right. the love and support. Me see you with a guitar. The last time me link up, no guitar never the boat. Oh, no, but it's all about elevation. Mm -hmm. This is what I said. See so. there. This is what I elevate to right now. I right love now, that, I love that. I'm in the, the process of learning the guitar. Definitely. So you know, every day is practice. Definitely. All right, so yeah. we're done going up on the topic of music now. Zed. The big tune where I go, I go on really good and the views them are going mad and all them things are right now. Yes. Talk a little bit about that. That tune is called Love Jones. Because I am Mr. One Love and I only deal with love. You see me, I said. So Love Jones is out for the people them. And Love Jones is really about, um, well, the video, let me tell you what the video is about. The video is about um, a, a, a guy and a girl, you know, a couple. And, um, you know, the struggles of working every day and not being able to afford certain things. So, you know, the, 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 the girlfriend kind of wake up and feel like overwhelmed that she have to go to work every day. So she kind of said to herself, damn, I need a vacation. And, you know, the, the boyfriend is next to her sleeping and overhear this. So he decided he's going to, um, you know, kind of give her that experience because you know, comparing to the bills and actually going to vacation, you know, you have to take care of your bills and your priorities first. So yeah. maybe a vacation is not an option. So what he does is he remodels, you know, he, he fixes the house up and he hires a masseuse for her and he make a bubble bath for her. And like, you know, certain, certain like a romantic thing where you can do for your woman. We don't really yeah. cast too much, but yeah. it's just the thought behind it. You see me I said? Yeah. And that is what the video about. And the people right. them seem to love it because it reads 52,000 right now. Yeah. Yeah man, straight boss do York, say so keep it locked. You don't know what Ziggy bless. Yeah. And see the question this week. We're gonna find out if you could go back in the past and change that one thing in your life, right? What would it be? Sin? So keep it locked, right as so. Straight boss New York. Sin? Straight boss New York. Hello, and what's your name? Sonia. Nice, Sonia. Where are you from, Sonia? Kanyas, Georgia. Oh, Georgia. Okay, nice. All right, my question to you, Sonia. Okay. If you could go back in the past, right, yeah. and change that one thing, what would it be? Absolutely nothing. Why not? Because I wouldn't be who I am today if I changed anything from the past. So okay. I like who I am and where I am, okay. and I'd rather be nobody else but who I am today. So I wouldn't change anything. His big brother died of cancer for two years ago, oh, at age 15. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe if we knew sooner, uh, yeah. maybe not. 
but uh, definitely that. I would have never left the Caribbean. Oh, for real? What Caribbean is that? Trinidad. Trinidad to the bone, so you say you would never leave Trinidad. I would have never left Trinidad. And why is that? What's the difference? Because New York is nice, right? You think New York is nice? New York is beautiful. It's given me great opportunities. Yeah. But I miss my family. I miss the vibes, the people, sure. the weather. Nice. Yeah. Oh, the food. Woo, the food. Oh, you can't forget that. You're mad? Well, I said, thank you very much. All right? All right. She miss her country. Bad. Keep it locked. Street boys. What's your name, brother? My name is Tyrone. They call me Crazy T. All right, Crazy T. Without a doubt. All right, if you could go back in the past, right? And change one thing, what would that be? Uh, it's a couple of things, but the main thing is I have a, a temper. You know, I would like to tone that down. Oh, yeah? How bad is the temper? I'm sorry? How you think? How bad is your temper? How bad is it? My temper is bad. It's real bad. <laughs> it's real bad. I mean, it's short. I snap for the little things. All right. Probably is pertinent right now since we're, we're dealing with the 50th anniversary of the killing of Martin Luther King. Yeah. I would say I'd go back and stop that. Uh, God only knows what he could have done with another 50 years on this earth. So that's what I go back and do. I love that one. I love that one. That one is different. I wasn't ex expecting ah, see, that. He wasn't, he wasn't expecting that. I would, he thought I was going to go back and kill Hitler yeah, or something yeah. like that. <laughs> How are you, my friend? Fine. What's your name? Renia. All right. If you could go back in the past, right, and change one thing, what would it be? Racism. I really changed racism. Because mm. it, it, it did start into our, our world out here. Mm -hmm. It really hurt a lot of people, but it still goes on sometime a yeah. little bit nowadays. But yeah. at least Martin Luther King, he, 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 had something that he had a big thing going with that. You understand what I'm yeah. saying? So it chopped down, but it still it still exists a little bit out here nowadays. All right. So racism strip. Right. Stay connected with Come Chat With Me. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Thanks for watching Come Chat With Me. Tune in each and every Sunday right here on CIN. We leave you with Zuros latest music video ride. See you next week. No I see you tonight. Come with me take you for a ride. Take you for a ride. Take you for a ride. Yeah, everything you like. No I feel take you for a ride. Take you for a ride. For a ride. In other car. To the gas with the star, my man, all the girl is so pretty like a star. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. make me wanna do what Andre my house by now. In the car, ah, ah, she became my number one passer, Sanja. Selfies with the Snapchat camera. Ramp, pop, 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 pop. No, I see it tonight. Come and make me take you for a ride. Take you for a ride. Take you for a ride. Simply Kills.